Welcome to iLecture Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the equation that we saw in the last video to find the eigenvalues of a matrix. In this case, the given matrix A is 1, 1, 4, 1. And of course, I should put little brackets on it like that because it's actually the matrix, the matrix A. And we're trying to find the eigenvalue or eigenvalues of the matrix. It could be that there's none, that there's one, and that there's potentially two for a two by two matrix. For a three by three matrix, there's potentially three eigenvalues. So plugging in what we know here, at least, let's find first the trace of A and find the determinant of A. So in this case, the trace of A is equal to the sum of the diagonal elements. So that would be 1 plus 1, which is 2. And then the determinant of A, which is equal to the determinant of 1, 1, 4, 1, which is equal to the product of those two elements minus the product of those two elements. So that would be equal to 1 minus 4, which is minus 3. Plugging all that into our equation, so now we go over here, we can say that lambda, the eigenvalue, is or r, depending on the 1 or 2. The trace of a, which in this case is 2, plus or minus the square root of the trace squared, that's 2 squared, minus 4 times the determinant of a, which is a minus 3. We divide all that by 2. And so this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4. That's a minus 12 times a minus. That's plus 12 divided by 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 divided by 2. And of course, the square root of 16 is 4. That's equal to 2 plus or minus 4 divided by 2. And that means that leaves us with two values. 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. Or... 2 minus 4, that minus 2 divided by 2 is a minus 1. So the two eigenvalues is lambda 1 is equal to 3 and lambda 2 is equal to negative 1. That's a really handy way if you have a 2 by 2 matrix to quickly find the eigenvalues of that matrix. In the next video, we'll show you a more general method that works for all matrices of any size. Of course, the bigger they get, the more complex it gets. But we'll see an example of how to find the eigenvalues in a different, more generalized way. And that's how we do that.